Yay Networks. Hello, everyone. Hello. Without, that was a very delightful little hello oh, there. Oh, thank you. I was, I was about to say, <laughs> without going into like too much detail, mm-hmm. the last few weeks. Yeah. The last been, week. If I could encapsulate them mm-hmm. in a word or a sound, yeah. it would be wolf. Mm. Not like a dog. Like uh-huh. wolf. Oh, a little bit like vomiting. Like, uh huh. That's nice. So sorry, everybody. Welcome back. There was a moment, yeah, welcome back. <laughs> but there was a moment uh, the other day when Hannah said, You know, I think that this has been the worst, was it month? Week. Week. The worst week. Of my entire life. That was last night I said that. <laughs> I said that to you last night getting in bed. I was thinking about it and I was like, this has literally been the worst week of my entire life. We, I really think it has been. It, yeah, I and I agreed. Yeah. I didn't even blink an eye. I was like, you are right. <laughs> Mine too. Uh, oh, God. We're not going to go into all that yet because... It would be a downer of an episode. Yeah, and we'll we'll space we'll space it all out and <laughs> in bite sized pieces for you guys. And we're we're not ready to <laughs> get into that now. I think the main reason is that we would both begin crying mm-hmm. if we tried to talk about it Maybe. now. Uh, everything's fine. Like everything is fine. Yeah. Uh, no one's dead. Yeah. Which, with that being the baseline. Yeah. Is it? You can tell. That's pretty good. What we're feeling. No, no one died. <laughs> but we're gonna make this some more uh, lighthearted and fun. Yeah. Episode for a little break. We're gonna play a game to begin the game that we've played before. I don't like this. You game. all love and Hannah hates. <laughs> Do they uh, like it? <laughs> Do they like they it? They enjoyed it. It is fortunately, <sighs> unfortunately. Okay. Then, in honor of the best day of the year, the best day of the year. My birthday. Lucky you that your birthday is coming up in the midst of all this. When this episode airs, my birthday will be only one, two, three, four days away. <laughs> 31, everyone. Wow. Well, what day is your birthday? Saturday? Uh, Sunday. Sunday? I didn't know. I mean, I know the date. I just didn't know which day of the week. Shane is, you know, a little touchy about whether or not I know his birthday. <laughs> I know your birthday is May 28th. I just didn't know what day that fell because I haven't actually looked forward to your birthday yet, which is concerning. What? I've been a little busy. And so uh, I haven't actually like looked at the calendar and been I like, I thought you meant like since you've known no, me. No, <laughs> my husband's birthday is coming up. I should probably get him a present. It's that's been on the back burner. But you said we were going to celebrate my birthday on the podcast. How will we be doing that? We are going to be doing that the same way we celebrated my 26th birthday last year whenever that was was. which was and i was no i was just thinking about whether or not that was last year or not it was Uh, like a year you did have a birthday last year yes shame my 26 (laughs) by asking me 26 questions it was pertinent the number that's right we made a video where i rapid fire yes so that's what i'm gonna do with shane we're gonna ask him 31 questions for his 31st birthday rapid fire yes because 31 not rapid fire would take yeah a long time. No, it's gonna be real quick. Hour episode. Yep, just you wait and see. And then at the end, <laughs> we've discovered a an artifact, secret artifact, a document from our past. We do this a lot. Why did we put so many things into weird word documents? I don't know, but I'm very grateful <laughs> that we did because it gives us great content uh-huh. down the road. It does. Uh, we're gonna look back at something that we made together. And how embarrassing it is now. Mm-hmm. It's cute. Like, it's cute. It's cute. It's just like, why did we feel the need to do this again and again? Which is really something that we're always asking ourselves. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. <laughs> All right. But let's get into our first game to warm up, get all the TV GVs out. Okay. Fortunately, unfortunately, fortunately, my birthday. Is a week away. Unfortunately, I'm not in the mood to celebrate. Oh. (laughs) Fortunately, I am. (laughs) And so I am hoping with all of my heart that my lovely, lovely wife can find a way Mm. 
to have a wonderful celebration. <laughs> kind of trailed off at the end there, didn't you? <laughs> I was tearing up. You were, you were crying a little bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, I sent out invitations and no one has RSVP oh. to your birthday party. <laughs> Fortunately, that's only because you forgot to put them in the mailbox. Oh. They're on a pile by the back door. Mm -hmm. Please do that <laughs> urgently. <laughs> Unfortunately, the venue I had in mind has already been booked. Fortunately, we live in a big city <laughs> and there are lots of venues available. And I'm not picky. Unfortunately, I already made plans for something different on that day because I thought the party was canceled. Fortunately, plans are easy to change. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I can't think of a single better reason to change plans than to celebrate your husband's I, 31st <laughs> birthday. I love this game, making you beg for a birthday. <laughs> My favorite concept. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> Should we keep going? Yeah, I'm. I'm down for this concept as long okay. as you are. Um, unfortunately, my plan is not changeable. Fortunately, <laughs> uh, you're gonna share why <laughs> with me right now, so that we can work together to figure out what the issue is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I booked a non-refundable plane ticket that is one way and leaves on your birthday and I, so I cannot be here for a party. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I will just book a ticket on the same flight <laughs> and oh. we can go wherever you're wow. secretly going together <laughs> on my 31st birthday. Unfortunately, the flight is actually sold out. <sighs> oh, man. Fortunately, I can find Delta's customer service number. We'll just call, we'll get your flight moved to my flight, it will all be fine. But unfortunately, the actual, you know, destination is not accessible. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> I don't weigh very much, so you can carry me. <laughs> okay, that will be done there. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Hannah laugh <laughs> in like a month. I enjoyed that. Uh, so that was a good one. Nice to see her giggling. But don't worry, we are going to celebrate your birthday. We really are. <laughs> yeah, so it was a game, everyone. It was just a game. Some people that don't know this yeah, game they're like, are what? like, oh my God, she's horrible. She's leaving on <laughs> his birthday? No. Uh, all right, that was fun. I think we should take a quick break. Get ready for your birthday questions. I am not ready. Normally, I like know the questions that are like, then we'll like this ahead of time. Yeah. Right now, I do not. So here we go. It'll be tricky for you. I have been using pros for a few weeks now, and I can honestly say I have never loved my hair more. It's luscious. It's been amazing. My hair has always been kind of frizzy and prone to split ends, and I've seen such a difference in the strength and look of my hair since using pros. Pros makes custom hair care that's effective because the formulas are actually made to order for your unique needs. Using natural, sustainably sourced ingredients with proven results, Pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements. I use the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair oil, and the hair mask, and I love all of them. I will also just say, because this is like Hannah's deal, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Like, I just want to rub my nose in it. <laughs> I want to wrap it around my face. I want to wear your hair. Okay, shit. First, Pro starts by asking about hair goals like increased volume or less shedding. In my case, it was the frizziness. I wanted more shine and I wanted help with split ends. Their in-depth consultation also asks about you as a person. Pros asked me really unexpected things like our zip code for, you know, the environment that we were in and about eating habits or exercise habits. Next, Pros analyzed all of my answers and handpicked clean, sustainably sourced ingredients to help me reach my hair goals. As a carbon neutral certified B Corp, Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible beauty. All their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered, and cruelty free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. If you're not 100% positive Pros is the best hair care you've tried, they will take the products back, no questions asked. Custom made-to-order hair care with Pros is the key to achieving all your hair goals this year. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com junkyard. 
That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash junkyard for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. Now back to the show. All right, we are back. I've got my questions ready. Are you ready to celebrate your birthday? I am ready. This is the weirdest way I've ever celebrated my birthday before. You love your birthday. I'm I just do. trying to pump it. Like everything is about your birthday now. Are these birthday questions? No, but neither were the ones that you asked me. No, yeah, I was just. So I'm ready. Okay. All right, everyone. All right. Number one, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? And would you use it for good or for evil? I found these online, just so you know. I didn't make this up. <laughs> Let's pretend that Hannah invented yeah. all would of Would you these. use it for good or for evil? Uh, I would be able to transport anywhere in the world at the blink of an eye. That's always mine. You stole that from me. A lot. You're already. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Telling Go ahead. me that my Happy answers birthday. are wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, and I would be able to bring along anyone that was touching me, um, except for Hannah. Uh, and I would use it for pure evil. Next question. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you in your 31 years? That is a close call between throwing up in the middle of a private restaurant mm-hmm. or... On my first day of college, when my head tipped back yeah. into a position where I could not get it back up in the middle of a lecture, and I had to, because I didn't like whisper with my head tipped back, I had to just go to the kid next to me, uh, can you help my head up? <laughs> and he was very confused. Mm-hmm. And it basically paused the lecture. And everyone looked at me as I like struggled to tell this kid how to get my head off. That's so much worse than the throwing up in the restaurant <laughs> I think one. It is. Oh my god! All right. And then it was resolved, and it was oh. fine. I mean, I got my head up. Yeah. Wow. It took a minute or two, but oh my god! <laughs> he pushed it forward, and my head fell <laughs> right back. <laughs> I was like, no, a little further. <laughs> the professor was like. Try not to stop. Yeah. But like, can't. Yeah. Can't not acknowledge. Oh my what's going God, on. that's awful. Yeah. Okay. What's the weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself, and how did you set the record straight? Uh, it's a combination of every rumor that says that Hannah and I are not in a real relationship. Mm-hmm. People that have been <laughs> saying this. Yeah. We are like going on year eight. I know. We've been married for, what, almost three yeah. years? It, I don't do anything to <laughs> overcome the rumor other than continue living my life. Yeah. But, <laughs> All right. If you were a professional wrestler, what would your signature move be? I would be able to curl myself up into a little ball and, like, roll around <laughs> on the ground like a... Like a an armadillo. Goblin. Or yeah. I roll into people. Wow. Okay. If you could have any animal as your sidekick, which animal would you choose? An eagle. An eagle? Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, what's the funniest or strangest habit you have that most people don't know about? I can't believe you'd choose eagle. You would choose eagle? Like, people can get a falcon. You would choose eagle. You wouldn't choose bear or whale. I, or, like, there are so many animals. Giraffe, elephant. Yeah, a giraffe. That would be a really practical sidekick. Eagle? We have to read your whole house, I'll everyone. I'll get you an eagle. Shane's sidekick is going to be living here. <laughs> I want an eagle for my birthday. Dolphin? No. No, do- what would I do with a dolphin? What are you doing I'm with laying, eagle? I'm laying in bed. Oh, man, I could really use my sidekick right now. A monkey. But he's at the ocean. How about a gorilla? It'll carry you around. A gorilla would be a good one. Yeah. Eagle. <laughs> okay. All right. What's the funniest or strangest habit you have that most people don't know about? Ooh. Um, I don't cut my toenails. Shane, a real one, please. <laughs> you thinking that that's so funny. It's okay, not funny. I cut Hannah's toenails. All right. We're going to move on. Neither of those are true. <laughs> If you could go back in time and give your 21-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? I was very anxious at 21 about the years ahead. I did not know 
if I would ever be successful or happy or loved. Wow. Okay, <laughs> well. I mean, other than like that, my family. <laughs> I was going to say, you were <laughs> already loved. <laughs> um, yeah, I really had no kind of vision of my future. And I was very nervous about it. So I would say, relax. Everything will be fine. Yeah. Wow. It was forceful. Chill out. A little rude. Okay. If you could remove one month from the calendar, which month would it be? February. Not March. Why are you? This is not your interview. Okay. And my favorite thing is that February and March are very similar. Like you weren't <laughs> even that far off from, but I feel very strongly about March and you know that. Okay. If you left your career right now, which other career path would you take instead? Oh, that's weird because my career is like multiple I know. things. I uh, stand up comedian. Okay. I've said that before. That's like a dream of mine, but yeah. I would do only that. How long do you think you can go on? <laughs> go on. Why would they write it like that? How long do you think you can go on? <laughs> Is that period at no. the end? <laughs> Without having electricity. It's just like, why would it be like, go survive? on? survive? <laughs> Of, like how long can you go without electricity it's how long can you go on without electricity i should probably survive until like a very important medical intervention mm. came up you know wouldn't be a great life mm. if we're talking just about uh, sorry like, i just yawn so <laughs> we tell like Leave this in and leave that in. And Michaela is our editor. Please leave that yawn in. I'm not kidding. Leave it in. All right. Would you like me to answer here or would you like to take a nap? I was yawning and I, like, I thought that was fine. It's my second yawn. But then I tried, <laughs> tried to be like, uh huh. And it came out in, you know, the yawn sound. I'm so sorry. Continue. I would love to hear your answer. What was the question? Oh, how long had I go on? <laughs> so survival, <laughs> unknown, but like li living a decent life yeah. before I got enraged, like a week, because I wouldn't be able to charge my wheelchair. Yeah. So I'd be pretty stuck. Yeah. So. We'd have to get you a manual chair. Or a wagon. A little wagon. Okay. Uh, how many people's telephone numbers have you memorized? Oh, not many. Barely know my own. Um, Do you know anybody's besides mine? I know yours. I know my mom and dad's. I know my childhood's phone number that is not even in use anymore. Like your home phone? Uh-huh. That's it. Yeah, Shane's horrible at phone numbers. Oh, I'll prove that I know Hannah's because I only recently learned it. It is 543. What is wrong with you? <laughs> and that's not it at all. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to just give you your phone number. I know, that'd be funny. If you lived in the 1900s, that's not even that the 1900s. Is that a joke? 23 years ago? Okay. If you lived in the 1900s, which job would you have chosen? Ooh. Can we make that like 1700s? Blacksmith. Yeah, that's 1700s. That's not 1900s. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there were blacksmiths in the 1900s, but you could have been like a computer engineer. You're making this segment very not rapid fire. Okay, sorry. Blacksmith is his answer. So anyone born in the 1988, <laughs> did, did you become a blacksmith? There were blacksmiths. There still are blacksmiths. There are, but that's not. You could just be. <laughs> I think they meant like the early 1900s. I know. I know. Okay. If you could rename yourself, what name would you choose? Ooh. Something really cool. Oh, I know. Um, Kira. Go ahead. Next. <laughs> Which smell reminds you of your childhood best? What? That is what it says. Oh, oh, like, which smell reminds you of your childhood best? Oh, like, I thought it was best was an adjective. No, okay. no, no. So what smell reminds you of your childhood? Uh, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to say. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> do you want to share that? <laughs> I do. I have this cream. <laughs> it's a hand it's lotion. It's a hand lotion. Yeah. Uh, that we just randomly found. I got it as like a free sample. It's a mini tube of hand lotion. Okay, and I don't use hand lotion. So she was like, want to smell this? I smelled it, and I was hit by the heaviest 
sense memory yeah. of my entire life. And it was the smell of one, <laughs> one of my preschool teachers. <laughs> was her exact yeah. smell. Mm -hmm. And it brought back this just flood of like calming childhood yeah. innocence memory. So now you have that hand lotion in your bedside table. And I may or may not, this is not a lie, have Hannah <laughs> put it under my nose every once in a while. On an anxious night. <laughs> So I can drift off. It's it's so cute. Of my preschool teacher. <laughs> you always want me to to feel what you feel. You're like, come on, just smell it. And I'm uh -huh. like, Shane, it doesn't smell like much to me. It's um, it's like rose water. Yeah, scent. Kind of. Kind yeah, of. It's a special mix of flowers that apparently your preschool teacher used. And I am so afraid of the day. That they stop manufacturing I know. that specific hand lotion. Yeah, that would be really hard for you. The same thing happens to me with beeswax. It reminds me of my preschool. Really? You know, yeah, because we used to make like beeswax candles. Like they would have that there. Oh. So I just I feel like the scents that you had in preschool are very, so very is this, strong. Is this both of our interviews or my birthday? You are so <laughs> or my birthday rude. Interview. So rude. <laughs> Oh my actual God. What's one thing you're grateful for? My wife. Yeah, okay. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. What is your favorite quote? It's a poem. To be alive, not just the hardest, but the spark. That's crudely put, but if we're not supposed to dance, why all this? Wow. I really like the first part, but I don't like the ending. <laughs> Thank you. <for> you. <laughs> <laughs> what, according to you, is your biggest strength? Uh, my ability to make people laugh. What, according to you, is your biggest weakness? My biceps. Okay. Do you like the sunrise more or the sunset? Sunrise. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Emma Stone. If you had to choose between going to space and going under the sea, which would it be? Definitely not under the sea. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah. Outer space. I would do the sea. Not that you care. What do you identify as the most? An optimist, pessimist, or realist? Oh, I like realist. But I feel like <laughs> realism tends towards pessimism. So somewhere yeah. in between... Realist and pessimist. Okay. What's one thing about yourself that you are proud of? Um, missing 29 podcast episodes. Shane. You said one thing. Which is the most special part of every day? <laughs> uh, <laughs> when we go to bed at night. And it puts me in bed and then goes to the bathroom um, to do, like, brush her teeth and stuff. And just hearing her gargle that water <laughs> and swish it around her mouth and then spit it out. That, is that it? Yep. Could you survive multiple lifetimes with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many. What like, five. Question. Only five? <laughs> what about ten? Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm moving to Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one thing you would never give away in the house? Oh, that's a good one because I don't, uh, I assume you don't mean, like, people. Yeah. Um, and my wheelchair is too obvious. Mm-hmm. Oh, it would be <laughs> my paprika parmesan cheese dip. Oh my God. From France 34. Uh huh. <laughs> what is the best decision you have ever made? Starting our YouTube channel. Aww. Or replying to your email. Yeah. Either one. Well, one. <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> They're not equal. They're not equal. You know <laughs> what I mean. What is the first memory you have? Ooh. 
I don't know if this is my first, but in the for the sake of time, I remember when my brother was born. I was like two and a, a bit. You were three and a half. <laughs> three and a half. Am I that much older? All right. Well, Andrew was being born, and I was at my grandma and grandpa's while my parents were at the hospital, mm -hmm. and they brought him home. Like not the same day, but yeah. uh, they brought him home, and I gave him a blue hat. You gave him a blue hat. Uh -huh, a little blue beanie. Aw, were you happy? No, I was pissed. No, some kids no, are not I, that I was happy. happy. Yeah, yeah. You were. Uh huh. I That's was really cute. excited. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is what was your favorite age so far? In your thirty-one years, <laughs> I think every year is better than the last. Wow. Kind of, you know? That's nice. Like, I don't ever really think, oh, I wish I was like 15 again. See, I, know I you do. do. I'm yeah. so nostalgic. Every, I feel like I miss every single year. Yeah. No, I, I like looking ahead. Like, I'm excited about next year, you know? Wow. More than like wanting to be 21. Although, can you believe that, everybody? I would, like, if I could go back to like zero yeah. with everything I know now. I would do that. It wouldn't be the same. Well, you wouldn't have the magic of childhood. <laughs> Imagine you watching Barney. It. You'd I be like, this it. is boring. <laughs> All right, last question. Last one? Yep. What has been your biggest failure? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for putting that one last. You're welcome. Uh, biggest failure? Uh, um, I've been rejected or denied for like three TED Talks. So <laughs> that was and a that's while after, ago. That's after they've invited me to do them. Yeah, you did get invited. And then I and then... failed to make it through. Wow. So, but that was a while ago. Yeah, I, it's not really a big failure. Well, um, well it is. Sound, but... Sounds like it is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, happy 31st birthday. Thank you. Yay. You got uh, through all the questions. Did I win? No. All right, I'll close my eyes and bring out my prize. <laughs> All right, everyone. We will be right back to share with you a very embarrassing thing that we found. My stomach is rumbling so hard, so I think it's time that we thank our next sponsor, Every Plate. Choose Every Plate over takeout to save money while still enjoying quick, satisfying meals. Their meals are 50% cheaper than your average fast, casual meal so you can put the money you save towards making fun summer plans. Oh, fun plans, like for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Our spring has been unbelievably busy. Too busy. So Every Plate helps us take back a little bit of that time with fewer trips to the grocery store and meals ready in 30 minutes or less, including 15-minute or less dinners. Yeah, my very favorite thing is not having to worry about figuring out what ingredients we have, what's for dinner. It's all just ready to go. Yep. They plan the meals and deliver pre-portioned ingredients right to your door so you can make mealtimes fit your schedule, not the other way around. You can customize every plate meals to your liking with options to swap proteins and sides or add a protein to veggie dishes each week. You do you. More potatoes. Always more potatoes. Obviously, meal kits are very well known and what sets every plate apart is the lower price point. Their value is really unmatched. Get started with Every Plate for just $1.49 per meal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code junkyard149. Again, get started with Every Plate for just $1.49 per meal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code junkyard149. Well, now I'm hungrier than I was before. Let's get back to the show so that I can have a snack. And we are back and it's time to embarrass ourselves. Oh my God. When Hannah and I had the idea to move in together, for me to move from Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. where I lived with my parents, out to Minneapolis to get an apartment together. Which was over five years ago now. Wow. That's Isn't wild. that crazy? Yeah. That does not feel real. I know. More than double the time that we were long distance. It doesn't feel wow. right. Time is not right. But when we had that idea and it began like becoming a reality mm -hmm. i in my <laughs> never-ending desire to organize and prepare plan and prepare yes and mostly make spreadsheets uh <laughs> i apparently and i didn't remember this 
until we found it, I made a document, a usual document that Hannah and me and my mom and dad and Hannah's mom and dad all had access to. Yep. And the purpose of the document was to cooperatively plan <laughs> every little detail oh. that we would need to figure out for the move. I'm just going to describe this to you. Yeah, take me through. At the top of this page, there is a heading that just says the move. <laughs> okay, then over on the side, we have a list of names, Shane, Hannah, Liz and George, Sue and John. And next to each name, there is a color of font written out. Uh, and then it says, please use your color and made, the comment feature. I made a little legend. So my color was green. So if I wanted to add to the document, I should type in green. What color was I? You were black. You were just the basic I was font. default. <laughs> I, was, I was amazing. The document. You wrote, it's mostly black. Uh, and then the person that added the most, unsurprisingly, was your mom. Yep. I, Apple doesn't fall far from me. <laughs> no. no, it does not. All right. So item number one on this list. Are you ready? I don't remember it at all. It's really <laughs> something. Research others with MD living independently. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That gives some um, like real insight into how big this felt. Yeah. Like I didn't I didn't have examples yeah. On the top of my mind. Yeah. Of like other people with my condition who were living on their own. You yes. Know? Oh. So I wanted to do some research. research. And you wrote down, to, and then you wrote down Judith Snow materials and you linked two things. I don't know what they were, but you linked them. I don't remember what that is, but okay. It's something <laughs> in case anyone's interested. All right. Um, at the top, we also wrote winter term ends March 15th. I think that was like our. That's when my winter term ended. You moved in on um, spring break, so you would have... I remember you were going to, yeah, right after winter term, fly to me, and then yeah. we were going to drive back. And I ended up flying to you on March 12th. I remember that. So I must have not had exams. It blows my mind that you have that memorized. I know. Just, <laughs> just in my brain. All right, number two. <laughs> like, okay, why, was this, why did this need to be written down? Make list of absolute necessities to take with me. <laughs> That's just like moving 101. Why did you need to write that down? I made a note on my planning document to make another planning document. <laughs> oh my God. And then you were in a funny mood because you only wrote one item underneath and it was just buttery Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> that really just ended up being the only essential yeah. item. <laughs> all you needed. All right. Next one. Find a regular doctor. <laughs> a regular doctor. I don't know, maybe like, oh, a, like, a, like a physician. Like yeah, like a, a regular right, is that called? primary care Primary physician. care, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, then you had some questions. You wrote, will changing doctors mess up my insurance with a new address? Oh, what? And then it Did was I like... Did I think it would keep my insurance? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. And then here, your, I think your mom m might have written this because, but it's in black, but it says, according to the Blue Cross website, there are thousands of doctors in the area that accept Shane's current plan. Oh, interesting. And then it was like for your dad to check at work. I do remember about that because you were under their oh, I was insurance. Still, I was still under theirs. Yeah. I think you were. Yeah, because you were you weren't twenty six. I moved by when I was twenty five. Five. Yeah. So I think so. it was like, can you stay on if you live in Minnesota? I don't remember if if you ended up being able to or not. I mean, now you're not. So whatever. I remember I ended up. I was sitting on your parents' outdoor patio, mm -hmm. and I was on the phone with insurance people. For like six hours oh my at one God. point, trying to figure out how I was going to move my yeah. chair here. Yeah. <laughs> it ended up all right. And I, we didn't figure it out before I moved. I know. Which is funny and not like me. Normally, I would want yeah. every key to us, but I was like, you know what? It was I'll hard. figure it out when we get there. I yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, research if living in Minnesota will affect feeding tube supply shipments. <laughs> I love that. Did you ever? I guess you did ship feeding tube stuff because remember we had it all in our basement and it took up so much room. Yeah, I used to use my feeding tube, but you never used it here. No, not once. We did get supplies shipped here though. Yeah, just for a little, and then you were like, mm, "I'm actually not going to." Tell insurance that. Well, 
You were like, I should probably have them in case I die. Yeah, they were a backup. They were backup. And, and I used them. And it was never needed. That was just a joke. All right. Next one. Develop a lamb plan and propose to Sarah. Lamb is laughing at my nightmare. And that was a big, yep. big hurdle. How Sarah and I worked together at my house every day that that well, Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um and I was really afraid to figure out how we were gonna do that. Turns out like it, it kind of shows you how like remote working yeah. was not a thing. Now it's such a th- yeah, now uh, people would be like, why did you need to sit together yeah. in person? But it's like you didn't hadn't even thought of the idea that you could work separately. Like FaceTime, yeah. Yeah. Something. <laughs> All right. The next one is make an approximate schedule for spring. And the only thing I added on this entire document was my one class and that it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11, 10 to 1220. I didn't, I didn't you know what my I'm, other classes were, I guess. I'm feeling like no one but me and maybe my mom really cared about this document. Your mom added so much. She wrote van insurance at the bottom. She, she wrote yeah. plan menus of soft foods with a smiley face. It, it was getting hard for me to like, Chew food at that point mm-hmm. in my life. Yep. Interesting. And then identify spin razzidates dates and figure out travel details. Oh. I don't know. Like, well, exactly I was that. on spin razza at that point. Yeah. yeah you were on it. We, there was like time constraints to that. Yeah. Had to be figured out. And you did get your next dose. I remember like two or three weeks after you moved here. We yeah. figured it out before you moved. Yep. Because it was very specific with timing. I like hold emailed neurologists in the area yeah like just found their emails i was like hi i live here now yeah question mark <laughs> we, I, we please, landed in the right spot please luckily. help i know yeah we ended up at gillette and uh they've been phenomenal and so much more convenient than when you lived in pennsylvania uh-huh like now we live near oh, yeah. a clinic that is literally exactly what you needed and like world <laughs> renowned yeah and i used to have to drive down to like philly or delaware yeah <laughs> so it worked out anyway then the last thing was pick what our first pet will be oh did, did you add that no <laughs> you did and my mom the only thing she added on this document was what with like 17 question marks <laughs> Oh, and we ended up getting a pet. We did get pet rats. We waited like from March. We got our pet rats in September. So we waited six months or so. Wow. And I remember how often you would say, can we have a pet? I begged. I begged. What about about fish? And it, yeah, the fish. What about hamster? But we kept driving back and forth. Shane, every single weekend, we would load our pet rats into the car in their gigantic cage and bring them to my parents' house. And I would carry them up the stairs. (laughs) What in the world? (laughs) In hindsight, it was a terrible idea, but I loved them, so. <laughs> we had the rats during a tornado. Yeah. We had carried the, them in the hallway. We carried them down the hallway. They had a great life in our apartment, though. Like, the free range they of that thrived. apartment. Yeah. Yeah, they loved and it. And I had them out all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they were awesome. I was not a fan. <laughs> they were good rats. <laughs> oh, well, it's really cute that we have that. Yeah. I love that we can look back. Like, it's cute now, only... Five years removed. Uh huh. Imagine when we're like seventy. I know we can look back at and all these videos. I always say that, but like this is going to be the same thing where we're like, why did we feel the need to record that? But <laughs> it's kind of endearing. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, all that right. is Jet Air Mayhem. <sighs> yep. Episode twenty nine, the birthday episode. Yay. Yay! Time to celebrate your birthday soon. All Get right. our minds off of the past month of our lives. We are doing stuff to celebrate my birthday. Yes, we are. Uh, we're going to a cabin. I didn't know if we were going to tell them. Yeah. Eh. Wait, why not? We why are. Not? We're going to a cabin. <laughs> but it's a nice one, not a cabin. It's a, that, it's a luxury yeah, cabin. Yeah, not a cabin that Shane is afraid of, so it should be perfect for his birthday. <laughs> not that I'm afraid <laughs> of. I don't like any cabin where I feel like a bug <laughs> to get through the floorboards. Or, like, live in the wall. Mm-hmm. Really any cabin at all. <laughs> but not, this is, like, a beautiful this house. This one I'm telling myself doesn't have beds. It doesn't, for <laughs> sure. All right. We will see you now. Oh, you have to, like. You have to do our outro. Yeah. If, if you enjoyed this, please, you know, like, review, comment, subscribe, all of those things. Uh-huh. And it's a junkyard out there. And we are running a birthday promotion. Ooh. If you have a birthday in the month of May, stop by our junkyard. And you may take home one piece 
of birthdays that medal. Wow. She's wisely. That's nice. And happy birthday. 